Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to save data using Oxios post method. If you have not watched our previous video about get method then please watch it. Link in the description. Before going further let's demo whatever we implemented till now. See here this book we are getting from Oxios get method. Now let's see how to save book data using this submit button. First, let's an open book.js file. So here we already covered many things like if we filled all the text boxes and then click on submit then in pop-up it is showing all the entered values. So first let's simplify this value. So if you see here to get the value we are using this dot state. So first let's see how to avoid the use of this dot state for every text box. So after render let's declare one constant array and assign this dot state directly. First, let's just use for the title. Now in the value, we don't need to add this dot state. Let's remove. See now it is very simple to understand. Same way let's add the rest of the field. Now replace for all the text boxes. I hope this is clear for you. Let's add one simple HTML attribute and that is autocomplete off so it will not maintain the cache for text box. Add this for all the text boxes. Before going further let's check everything is working fine or not. See now text boxes are not suggesting any values. So here instead of using directly inside the constructor, let's create a separate variable and then use that variable. So in future, if you want to do then we can directly use that variable. Let's create a variable for the initial state. See this change also simple. Now let's add one more button for reset the form. Add required button related changes. See this empty array for space. Let's check button is coming or not. See it is coming. Now let's use on reset and build function of the form. Now let's add code for reset book. So inside this reset book, we will call initial state variable inside the set state. That's it. Let's check reset is working or not. See it is not working. Even it is giving an error like cannot read property set state of undefined. So instead of using as a function let's change it to an arrow function. Let's try now. See it is working. See now reset can reset everything. Similarly, we will replace all the function to arrow function. But before that let's see what is arrow function. In React whenever any function call we do then we need to bind that. So here we not calling the function from constructor so basically to avoid bind we use the arrow function. See it is more readable. Now let's see how to submit this form and post data using Oxios. Let's create one constant for book and create JSON for book. OK this is done. Now let's import the Oxios. Let's call the post method of Oxios. Pass the URL and the book JSON. 
Now let's capture the response. When we do post call for book rest API then in response it returns the book JSON along with book ID. Let's add a simple condition so based on that we will check and after that we will reset the form and show the alert message as book saved successfully. Let's open readme file of book rest API. See here are the request in URL format. Let's copy the post URL and paste it. That's it. Now let's check is everything working or not. Let's take the book values from readme request. See success message is coming, means Oxios post is working fine, and when I click on OK it is resetting the form. Now let's open the list page, see two records are showing now. Let's do quick review whatever we implemented till now. Let's add one more book. See success message is coming. So here I want to implement the bootstrap toast. So instead of showing the alert message, success toast should come. So let's see how to implement toast for the success message. I hope this requirement is clear for you. Let's open a React bootstrap page. Let's search for toast. See here are the suggestions. See here are the examples, so this page you can find more than enough information about Toast. Let's see how to implement Toast in our Bookshow application. Let's create a new component for Toast. Toast name let's say my Toast. File created successfully. Let's add basic code which is required for any component. Here I am directly writing the code. Similar kind of code you can find in the Bootstrap Toast examples. Let's add Toast header and body. I don't want close button so I am setting close button to false. Here we want success toast so I am adding success related Bootstrap classes. Let's add success message in toast body. We want this toast should come on the top right corner of the page, so here I am putting the style to achieve the same. Let's use this CSS inside the div. That's it for this toast component. Now let's see how to use this in book component. First, let's import my toast component. Now inside this return, we will add my toast. We can't keep two component together without using HTML component. So let's create divs. Now let's add my toast component. Now let's move this card component also. See it's very simple. Now let's check toast is coming or not. See it's coming, but it is showing below the card. Let's add some modification in toast CSS. Reduce the top and right value. Add Z index CSS also. Let's check now. See it is coming properly. See here we have not done any save operation but still, it is showing. So let's here is the scenario. So it should show only when I click on save button and only it should show. So let's see how to handle this. 
Let's create one state for a show. And add a condition and if so if the show is true then show this toast otherwise hide. Let's check now. See it is not showing. Now let's see how to pass this show as a child in my toast component. Here is the attribute called children so here we can pass as many as in the form of key value pair. First let's pass for the show. So here the key is shown and the value is this dot state dot show. Along with that let's pass success message also. See it is simple. Now let's use these my toast component children in my toast. Component children, we can access using props. So let's see how to get the show and message values. See it is very simple. Even add this show condition in style also. So until the show is true then only this style will be applicable. Now let's modify the post response logic. Move this initial state at the end. If there is a response then set show to true. Remove this alert message. Add else block as well and set show to false. Add timeout function so automatically after 3 seconds toast should be hidden. See it is simple. Let's check is everything working or not. Oops giving some compilation error. Let's fix this first. So here instead of equal it should be colon. There is one more error like none is not defined. Change this none to null. Let's check now. See it is working. Let's add a book. See it is working in toast also hiding after 3000 milliseconds. See in book list also it is adding the new book. Let's add some more book. So here book details I am taking form readme file. See everything is working as expected. I hope you understood whatever we implemented till now. Next video we will see how to delete the book. Let's review whatever we implemented till now. I checked in my changes to git, I will show you from where you can find these. See here is the repository. Here are the changes. That's it about this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.